Let the battle begin! Oh, I know your buff. He's gonna switch it up the last second. Oh my gosh, this is other pounding. Gotcha. Man, this is just a pounding. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but that was just. You got pwned. I feel relieved. You got pwned and hard. Ouch. <laughs> oh, that S rank. Oh, get me. Get me. Get me. Hard. Perhaps Jiraiya Sensei lost on purpose that day to help me get over my doubts. Either way, he lifted a burden from my heart. Of course, the position of Hokage carried many responsibilities. But I'd never know if I could manage if I didn't try. And I wasn't alone. My teachers, friends, my charges, and of course, my loved ones. I was surrounded by so many irreplaceable people. Thanks to them, as Hokage, I would grow strong. My conviction to walk the path of the Hokage was set. And then, he must have sensed my conviction. For the third Hokage challenged me to a match. <laughs> this old guy challenged me? Bring it. Lord Hokage, why do you wish to fight me? Come now. Someone of your prowess should already understand that. Well then, show me what you can do. Okay. Oh man, I'm sorry, but you're gonna get pwned. You're gonna get so, so pwned. Hide your boy, cause he's doing the cabbage patch. Let the battle begin! Here's the combos. Woo! Oh, last second. Dang. What the hell do you have on you? What the fuck is that? I'm sorry, I just like that move so much. Ooh, see you later. You're lucky, old man. It would have ended really badly. Instead of a shuriken. Thank you very much, Third Hokage. Victory was mine, but victory was not what was necessary. 
I already understood that. Through his fists, the third Hokage was testing my will, my determination, and of course, the burdens I carried. After the fight, the third Hokage smiled at me gently before walking away. When I left that place, I left as the fourth Hokage. For me, my days as the Hokage were priceless. The smiles on people's faces made me truly happy. I love your smiley faces. Their happiness was my happiness. But then... The Nine Tails appeared. Ooh, Nine Tails. Wow, he looks especially devious in this picture. His sudden attack threw the village into pain. Aruga Sensei's parents, he no! Terrible losses. I could sense that someone was manipulating the Nine Tails, and I spared no effort in discovering who. And then. I found you. I found you in the darkest hours. <laughs> Oh man. Don't tell me that doesn't relate to this situation, huh? When the ba Oh, I have to press A button. I totally forgot I have to press a button. Oh, you bitch punk. Gosh! Darn it. Alright. I. You're about to get home, I'm sorry, but. What you trying to do? Time travel? Oh, get me. Get me. Oh, damn it. I still got you. Speed is a virtue. Oh, you tried to do something. Alright. Oh, snap, I didn't even see there was a grab. See ya! Woo! New Ultimate Jutsu! Oh! Oh! I got you. Yeah, run. Run. I'm gonna increase my speed a bit. Oh, fuck. Another grab. Gosh darn it. See ya! I got him. It's over. Drop the controller. Leave the room. Because you're done. You're done, son. I'm curious about this one's true shape. But right now, stopping the Nine Tails comes first. And protecting my baby! My baby! You cannot tell me I don't have a singing voice. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I was able, somehow, oh, I did to repel the masked man's attacks. But to the bitter end, his confidence remained unflagging. He has such an unflagging doubt, confidence. I knew he would yet bring future calamities to the world. In order to seal the Nine Tails, and to secure the power needed to resist the Masked Man in the future, only one route was left open to me. I would seal the Nine Tails into my son, turning him into a Jinchuriki. My son had what it would take to brave the future as a Jinchuriki, and to one day face that man. I don't know how I knew this, but for some reason, I did. But that was the only thing that I could leave my son. All those aspirations which I had carried as the fourth Hokage, Naruto, I bequeath them all to you. Bequeath! I love that word. I know that you can do it. I bequeath my will of fire to you. After all, you're my son. I believe in you. My 
Monroe Uchiha. What he did to my dad. If I said I had no regrets, it would be a lie. Because of the mask, our village was destroyed. And as a result, I left you all alone. But, to tell you the truth, at the time, I was completely content. How come? Because I'd managed to protect what was most important to me. And what would that be? What do you think? You, Naruto. Uh. You're my son. In this world, there is nothing more valuable to me and my I feel like he was having, you know, the thing called intercourse. I think it was like, how much joy that brings to your it happened life. in a flash. A yellow plus red so flash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I have a dirty mind, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you know, dirty minds think alike. No, nobody's with me, alright, cool. <laughs> but listen to me, your fight still isn't over. I know you have many trials and tribulations ahead. As your father, it saddens me that I can't go through them at your side. But Naruto... I hope your hands are clean. I don't want any pink eye. <laughs> oh, the freaking phone. I believe in you, Naruto. I'll, I'll never lose. I'll just keep moving forward. No matter what happens, I'll never give up. I never go back on my word. That's my ninja way. After all, I am your son, right? Right. <laughs> I'm leaving the rest. Up to you. Dad! I guess it's about time. My chakras run out. What? You're going already? Cheer up, son. I'll always be with you. Remember what I said. You have the will of many inside you. Yeah. I'll always be at your side. Always supporting you. Together, always. Hmm. I wonder how tall is Naruto? And how tall is Minato? Hmm. I really wonder, but yeah, I'll look it up. I'll look it up later. It should be like 5... 10 or something. At least 5'10. His dad must be like 6 feet tall or something. I don't know. I don't really know. They look tall. You were born as my son. And I thank you for it. Aww. 